Hey, this is my eighth day of making those videos, guys. My life and my business is a mess. I have mad bills to pay, you know? Damn, the government is on my ass. But anyway, in this video, I will teach you how to create your first jewelry with a gemstone. If you have followed my video along. It's not rocket science, don't worry. I did not have any knowledge in 3D modeling before, but I still managed to learn just by watching short videos like that every day. This course is for beginners and it will be the most structured free course available on YouTube. Trust me guys. All right guys, uh, let's start by uploading our gemstones. I will leave you guys uh, the gemstones uh, on the link below. You can find it, it's free for download. So uh, let's go back to our software and just drag it to our software and select import file. So it's a one millimeter stone. So uh, we will need uh, to resize our stone. So we are going to this uh, next to the property windows and uh, enable the box edit windows. So select the gemstones and here on size, uh, select uniform and uh, put, for example, five millimeters. And then make sure on the bottom, you select it center to center the gemstones on uh, the center of the axis and just press enter. All right, next we can build the uh, gallery bezel on the bottom of our stones. So let's select the circle uh, command and type zero to place on the center and press enter. So uh, let's make it at five millimeter press enter once again. Okay, now we can offset the curves we just made by just tapping offset on your keyboard and let's uh, offset it on the inside and make it, it at a distance of one millimeter. Okay, now we can select both curves we just made and we are just going to extrude them by just typing extrude curves on your uh, keyboard. So. Uh, make sure you select uh, both side equals to no so you can uh, extrude it on the bottom and let's make it at a size around that like 2.5 millimeter and press enter all right now let's hide our gemstones first by clicking on this light bulb so now we are going to make a nice room by cutting uh, the inside edge and uh, we can do this by going to our solid tools and uh, select this function, the chamfer edge, which is just next to the uh, fillet edge. Uh, they are similar, the uh, fillet edge will round off uh, the edge, but the chamfer will uh, do exactly the same, but instead of a rounded edge, it will make like a straight cut. So select this and then uh, select the edge to chamfer which is the inside, press done, and uh, select the handle. As you can see right here, uh, it will make a uh, cut uh, based on the distance we want, but uh, instead of selecting one millimeter, we are going to adjust that to, uh, let's say a 0 0.8, like that. Because if you select one millimeter, our uh, bezel is one millimeter in size, right? So it will like cut everything, right? And then just press enter on your keyboard. All right, so if we are happy with that, let's bring back our gems by just typing show on your keyboard. Okay, let's adjust the gemstones. Let's put it a little bit down, just like that. All right, now we can create our four prongs and put it on the side. Let's do this uh, with a uh, cylinder command. This icon right here, or just type cylinder on your command. Let's turn on our grid snap and place it on the top, uh, just about here. And let's make a uh, cylinder of uh, the diameter of one millimeter. Type one on your keyboard, press enter, just like that. So now we need to uh, place uh, the bottom of our cylinder. Uh, just on the bottom of our bezel gallery and then click just like this. 
All right, let's select our cylinder. And now you can see that our stone is, you know, basically taking half the prong, which is 50%. And uh, usually we want to uh, set it at 30% or maximum 40%. So let's just move up to 0 0.1 millimeter, just about here. Okay, now let's rotate our prongs uh, to be uh, about here with our rotating function. Just uh, select our rotate icon we previously like saw in our previous video. Press on it and place it on the center and uh, hold shift and then click anywhere on the top. And we are going to move about uh, 45 degree so let's type minus 45 degree on our keyboard and hit enter all right now we can mirror our prongs to the other side by just typing mirror on your keyboard and now this time we are going to click on the y-axis so it's going to mirror uh, above the, the uh, y-axis just like that press enter once we have mirror uh, to the other side, we can select both. And then we are simply going to mirror this uh, on the bottom, which is the uh, X axis over the X axis. Select and just press enter, just like this. All right, now you have successfully created your, uh, your little uh, diamond jewelry. And then you can uh, go ahead and create uh, the bell or just import from uh, the previous video. So that was the one from our previous video, uh, which is uh, display in uh, purple color. And you can switch back to uh, the default layer right here by just change the object to the layer. And then uh, just place it on, on our uh, pendant, just like that.